Kathy Crafty Chica here, and today we are working with the jelly plate. Now, if you are experienced with mixed media, you've probably heard of this before. If not, you totally have to get into it because it is a lot of fun. So what it is, is it's a thick pad that is clear and very spongy and you can use it to put paints on and then you can mix the paints by rubbing a brayer over it and make all kinds of cool multi-layered backgrounds for your collages or cards or journals anything you can use stencils and stamps it's just there's a lot of endless ideas well after doing a lot of those i thought what is something different that i can do with the jelly plate that i haven't done before so i remembered how a couple months ago i took a monoprint class and we took large sheets of paper and drew a big design slid them under a big sheet of plexiglass and we used oil paints to cover the whole plexiglass with our painted design and then we ran that through a, a press. Okay, so let's get started on this project. You're going to need a jelly plate, a soft rubber brayer, some stencils if you want, but for sure your design drawn on a piece of paper, and some white scrap of paper. Most importantly, you need to use paints that have a long dry time. I use these golden acrylics because you want to make sure that your painting stays wet from start to finish so that you will get a nice even print. To get started, slip your drawing under the jelly plate and then paint away. You only need a little bit of paint, it goes a long way. So it's just like a coloring book. You want to fill in between the lines and shade as desired. Once you have all the color filled in, take a background sheet. This is one that I made earlier and press it over the wet paint on your jelly plate firmly with your hands pull it up and boom, there you have your print. Now to finish these up, I just used a black liner to make them look nice. And now they're ready to be framed. You can make them as a greeting card. You can use them in your journal or in collage art, whatever you want. So what do you think? Are you inspired? Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends because we know crafty people are happy people. And don't forget to press the subscribe button too. Thanks for tuning in.